everyone welcome to my channel so this is Neema from your Sunday Neema YouTube channel today in this video I thought of giving a road map on how to uh, upskill yourself in a data analytics field so this is purely for data analytics and uh, it does not include anything related to data science that is uh, predictive modeling so please do watch if you are uh, willing to know the road map that will help you to stick to the plan and upskill yourself uh, as a data analyst and get yourself a job ready. First thing that every for any uh, plan to work out, you need to have a timeline in your mind. So for this roadmap, I have uh, put myself uh, into a six month plan. So if, like, let's say uh, it's a December, right? So we are starting this plan on January. So January to June is our timeline. So that's how I'm setting the whole roadmap. Once you have your timeline set, uh, we need to have a vision right for if you are trying to achieve something there has to be a vision and a goal so uh, do think in terms of what is your vision is for example some of you are uh, planning to upskill or are getting into data analytics field so that is your vision please note it and uh, if your vision is to get yourself prepared for interviews that will be your vision so do uh, have a vision clear cut vision and accordingly set up your timeline so here what the vision that i have stated is to upskill and be be prepared in terms of data analytics field now that we have the timelines and vision uh, up in front uh, let us now discuss with the workflows that we need. so with respect to workflows uh, in terms of data analytics uh, these are the set of skills that I have, I feel that is really very relevant in today's industry. On a high level, uh, there are four types of data analysis. That is descriptive, which is more of what happened. Here in descriptive, you basically do the data aggregation and manipulation. The second type of data analysis is diagnostic. Diagnostic is basically you are trying to find why a certain thing has happened. So here you would even go further beyond uh, doing data aggregation. So that is the, the diagnostic analytics. And then you have the third thing is the predictive analytics, which is not very well used in a data analytics field. Uh, so so as, as you know, predictive is we are trying to see what is more likely to happen in the future. And this is where uh, modeling and machine learning modeling and things happen. Uh, you most likely to work on such models in uh, predictive analytics and the fourth one is prescriptive analytics so in prescriptive analytics you basically try to see what is the best course of action to take uh, on further uh, as a further step although you use certain forecasting algorithms or uh, events or activities to understand what would be the necessary uh, actions to be taken this is a kind of uh, activity where both data science and data anal analyst will do so for this roadmap, we'll focus on three analy analytics here, that is the uh, descriptive, diagnostic and prescriptive. Now, once we have the workflows ready, we have, have to think about what are the skills that are need to be focused upon. So with respect to data analyst, when you are a data analyst or when you are trying to be a data analyst, there are some of skills that you need to excel upon. So one of such is SQL. SQL is widely used in order to extract data and manipulate data and uh, one of the most important skill that has been tested uh, across industry across data analytics and data science industry as a first level uh, interview preparation so first thing that i would like to say is the first skill that need to be prepared is SQL in terms of uh, 6 months plan i would say from jan to feb please do take care of uh, honing the basics of coding in SQL which could be uh, data manipulation, data aggregation and more such uh, techniques that a person most likely do in a data analyst response, job responsibility. So that is the first skill that I would like to focus upon. The second skill is coding. So in terms of data analytics, although you don't have to be so highly code savvy here, you still are in some responsibility to code. For example, Python, uh, sometimes in some uh, in some areas in, or in some teams you are in a situation where you will have to code in python like you get a, a data format and you will have to manipulate data in python rather than in a sql so you will have to be well equipped with python knowledge and at the same time you will it depends on each uh, company or uh, industry for example in india we 
most likely use python in us there are people who still use uh, r and python uh, and I, I still see there are a huge number of people still using Py r and uh, python at the same time so this is a place where you have to hone your skill or, and prepare yourself in terms of uh, coding uh, in python or r from feb to march i would uh, suggest you to take, take care of preparing yourself in any coding languages for example python or r as well as there is one caveat here i did not mention a skill called statistics so statistics is is still used in data analytics field but to be honest uh, as far as what i have been in seen in this field is i could say only a 25% of stats stats is used in a data analytics field uh, some of which could be uh, ab testing uh, is most widely used or a hypothetical testing those are the skills or those are the um, most widely te techniques statistical techniques used in uh, the data analytics so when you are preparing for your coding i would suggest you to take uh, forward with your statistical testing in terms of ab testing and hypothesis testing if you're following along please do like share and subscribe and share it to people whom you think would this video will be useful as well now that we have the two technical skills in place uh, now we have to focus on something higher which is nothing but the core of data analytics which is data analytics itself techniques so uh, in terms of uh, timeline i have put myself into uh, a 3 months time span in order to prepare this particular technique that is uh, march april may where you will have to take care of uh, yourself in terms of understanding and uh, upskilling yourself in skills such as uh, several data analysis skills that are descriptive prescriptive and diagnostic so these are the three techniques that you will have to learn and at the same time prepare on data visualization visualization technique is really important here because that what i see most often is in every industry uh, there are a lot of reports there are a lot of dashboards and some of these dashboards are live so th there is still a huge amount of demand in in terms of hiring people who are well versed in data visualization so this is a very important skill that everyone should learn and uh, if you are interested in data analytics and one of which is you can start uh, uh, developing dashboards in tableau which is which could be tableau public account and then you can use uh, power bi at the same time so these are the uh, platforms that you can use for developing dashboard don't ever forget uh, a very important and easy or wide well known software which is the microsoft excel please do make sure that you are aware of building your charts or graphics in microsoft excel because uh, in 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 any industry or in any team when you are placed in uh, if you are an individual contributor you will be in a situation where you have to do quick and dirty analysis and that's only been presented in the form of a excel uh, charts so uh, please do take care of that so i will be mentioning in the comments what you could refer or what sources that you can refer in terms of descriptive diagnostic and prescriptive so uh, for one example i would like to give is by then when you are in march i would say you would be aware of or you are you are already aware of uh, skills such as sql and coding right so try to take up a data source public data source and see if you can write a sql query or extract some data from it you can either use sql or you can either use any pub coding language and then the second step is you have to start with your descriptive analytics here you can start to see what is happening in a particular data and try to understand what is happening and then for a diagnostic why it is happening so here you can start uh, honing yourself in terms of uh, putting a trend chart and also understand if there is any anomaly do anomaly detection uh, all of that and the third thing is under try to see if if you can find out any best course of action that is the prescriptive analytics so these are the three things that you will have to uh, try and start working on during the three months of time that is march april may and uh, do not forget that once and when you are doing a particular project or trying to hone a skill please do prepare a portfolio beside because you don't want to waste your efforts just by preparing right if you if you are building a uh, project or if you are building a certain uh, analysis 
you you would like to showcase it to the people or should showcase it to the audience right in public so please make sure that you always prepare and have your portfolio ready side by side uh, this could be a long process but i i would say that if you are uh, well averse in if you are well informed and well prepared in this area of data analytics uh, you can literally uh, crack any interviews uh, because most of the interviews are all based on these topics so uh, this is the three month period that I, I i feel would be justifiable here i i am very sure that it might take a lot of time for some people if someone is starting or if if you are from a non tech background it would take time so that's why i'm giving a three month period for the final month uh, for the month of june now that you have your data analysis project or if you have any particular portfolio ready by then it is time for you to connect and network so uh, it's not it's not that you have to only learn and be ready you you have to connect at the same time and uh, see if there are opportunities in the industry to uh, put yourself forth for a upcoming interview so the last month i would say take your time to connect with several industry uh, professionals data analytics industry professionals and try to see get to know them get to know what the how the industry is spanning and uh, try to understand if there is any opening in a particular job or any job or companies that you are interested in uh, these are the six months plan and the skills that need to be followed uh, in terms of preparing yourself in data analytics field and the, the the very important thing that i would like to stress here is risk factor so with in terms of risk factor what i would say is life happens right you know of you people are transitioning into data analytics or data science field you may not have the time to uh, give the 100% effort so please make sure that you can tweak this road map because uh, sometimes we we do have to update our plan or strategy in, uh, accordingly and another step that i would like to say in terms of road map is document these efforts guys because if you have something like a status sheet or something this gives you an aware awareness that are you going in a certain direction or are you uh, being away from your goal so please do document what you are learning or what has been completed so in in terms of it could be any uh, google sheet or any sheet that you are having it could be any manual sheet that you can take notes on paper so do have everything documented and record the status of things that you are learning and so that it gives you awareness that are you reaching the goal or are you uh, away from it or can you stick to the road map for this that said that is a 6 months plan so have everything documented guys and the final thing is i would suggest you is be this would not be your ideal road map some of you would want uh, to land in a career which is in in a 3 months of time span so please to update accordingly this is the uh, the the ideal road map that i could find because uh, the people who are coming from non technical they would need time to take up skills and understand right so the last step guys do always update your road map accordingly so guys that is all for the road map i will definitely put all the links forward or any all the all the technical skills that have been mentioned here so please do check the description uh, box for the resources and links there and uh, this is the 6 months plan i hope uh, this would be something that you uh, that is manageable or that something that is reliable and if you try to follow this plan and successfully build a network across people and a portfolio i am damn sure that you can land a data analytics career guys so that is all guys if you like this video please do like share and subscribe it would be a great help for me hope you have a wonderful day